Hi, this is Danny with Enphase Training. Let's take a quick tour of the Enphase IQ Load Controller. When you remove the IQ Load Controller from the box, most of the items are inside the enclosure. Here you can see everything included. The provided mounting tabs are secured to the rear of the case. They can be positioned on top and bottom or to the sides. There's hardware provided for the door, fasteners to secure the door so people can't easily open it, or plugs to seal the screw holes if you don't use them. If you use the IQ load controller for PV shedding, use the provided wiring diagram sticker. The remaining items includes a spool of wire, cable tie wraps, lever nuts, and a spare auxiliary wiring connector for the IQ system controller. Inside is a 120 volt to 24 volt transformer. It's fed by a single pole 120 volt breaker located in your backup sub panel. The 120 volt wiring enters here. You can see the line one and the neutral. On the top, you've got the negative wires. It kind of has one negative out and that's split and pre-wired here to both of the contactors. And then the positive circuit actually leaves here and that's gonna become your switch leg. And notice I've only used a single wire and I'll tell you why because what I've done is I've actually split that positive into two over here right in the IQ system controller. And I landed it on NC1 in on the left and NC2 in kind of right there the third screw over. Now it's important that you have separate return wires for each of those contactors. So here this one's going to be my NC1 out. Here's NC2 out and those return back here on each of the contactors. So there's my NC1 positive wire coming back to this contactor and kind of behind that conductor, here's NC2 control circuit, that 24 volt circuit returning as well. Now currently I have this uh, transformer powered off. You can see I turned the breaker off and I'm gonna show you that the uh, connected loads here are in fact powered or controlled by these contactors. So if I push down on this contactor, that's my first circuit here. I have two contactors, so I can control a single 240 volt circuit. And the way I would do that is I'd have a line one here, line two here, in, and then my out line one and my line two would be here. So that's a single 240 volt circuit. Now if I have two 120 volt circuits, I could use this terminal in here, in here, out here, out here, and that would be two separate 120 volt circuits kind of controlled in a pair. And then my second contactor here, that one has the control circuit returning in the same spot. There's the positive. And so the uh, line in from my breaker over here lands here, line out, back to that load kind of goes out this way. So I'm gonna power on that transformer and you'll see that the moment I did that, I happen to have it so that the auxiliary controls here, the switch legs are in the on or closed position. And so you'll see that my two circuits are all lit. And just to show you, if I reach over here and I turn off the breakers to these individual circuits, they're still controlled and protected by these individual breakers here as well. All right, so to recap, the controlled circuits um, in my backup panel that I'm controlling with my IQ load controller, the output from those goes in here on, on the load controller or contactor one, and then out returns to that original load, just now it's controlled by a contactor. And again, circuit number two there, that goes in here and out here. If I open or close the 24 volt circuit, that will turn off the contactors. So there you go, there's one contactor, there's the other contactor, oops. And then now you can control the circuits 
uh, based on how you commission the system or how you set it up. You can set it up where it's manual, meaning it'll always run whenever it can, when the sunlight backup power is available, or you can set it up to be scheduled and operate um, you know, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., let's say. All right, thank you.